Hi friends, it's Miss Joyce from Calvary Chapel of Costa Mesa and the Children's Ministry. Just so happy to be able to reach out to all of you and say hi. We sure do miss you guys around here. We've been thinking about you and praying for you and we miss your cheerful smiles and all your laughter and just hanging out together. We really miss it, but we're really happy that the Lord provided this opportunity to just be able to see you and talk with you and um Hopefully you guys are having a good time at home. I know you can feel cooped up a bit, but we're hoping that we can make the best out of it and enjoy your family time together. So I'm very excited to be able to read to you a story today regarding Easter. And Easter is like one of my most favorite holidays. I love Easter, so I'm really blessed that I can read to you a story about that. So this book is called The Bernstein Bears, and it's called The Very First Easter, and it's by Jan and Mike Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right. The bear cubs love Bible stories and Papa Bear loves reading them to his cubs. Time to settle down for the night, cubs. It's Easter Sunday tomorrow, says Papa. Are you gonna read us a bedtime story before we go to bed, Papa? Asks sister. Honey claps, please, Papa. She says, of course I will read you, I'll read to you. Do you have a story picked out, brother? Brother thinks a moment. How about another story from our storybook Bible? Is there one about the very first Easter? Papa opens the storybook Bible and smiles. Yes, there is. Let's begin. Long ago, Jesus lived in the Holy Land teaching about God and what God wants for his people. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to the holy city of Jerusalem. The people of Jerusalem greeted him with joy and they shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. They believed Jesus was the new king of Israel. Hosanna, they're shouting, they're so excited. You can see them all lined up in the street there. The leaders in Jerusalem grew worried. They did not like it when the people called Jesus a king, there already was a ruler of the land. They thought Jesus was causing a lot of trouble. They did not understand that the kingdom of Jesus was really the kingdom of heaven. It was the feast of the Passover while Jesus was in Jerusalem. That is the holiday which Jesus' people remember when Moses led God's people out of Egypt. Jesus said, Jesus and his followers had a special Passover supper together, just like everyone else. During the supper, Jesus told his followers how much he loved them. Then he broke a loaf of bread in two, and he poured out wine to share with them. This bread and wine is like my body and my blood, he said. Eating and drinking these things will remind you of me. Jesus told them that he would be leaving them soon, but they did not really understand what Jesus was talking about. Hmm. Later that night, Jesus went to a garden to pray. Some of his disciples were with him, but they soon fell asleep. Judas was one of Jesus' disciples, but he turned against Jesus. He decided to help the angry city leaders put Jesus in prison. He led some soldiers to the garden to take Jesus away. The disciples were afraid and they ran away. The leaders of Jerusalem decided to hand Jesus over to their ruler. He was a Roman named Pilate. Pilate decided to show everyone that Jesus was not really a king. After Jesus's after asking Jesus many questions, Pilate ordered Jesus to be put to death by hanging him on a wooden cross. The day Jesus died was a terrible day. The sky grew dark and a great wind arose. Many people were afraid. Some people prayed, other people ran away and hid. After Jesus died, some of his friends carried his body away and they laid him in a tomb. The tomb was closed with a great stone 
and Roman soldiers guarded the tomb. Oof. Three days after Jesus died, the earth shook and an angel came and rolled the stone away from the entrance of the tomb. And then he sat on the stone. When the soldiers saw the angel, they fell down in fear and they ran. That angel told three women who were visiting Jesus' tomb that Jesus had risen. They ran to tell all of Jesus' friends the news, but Jesus himself came to visit them in the room where they were staying. The disciples were amazed. Jesus was alive and they fell down and they worshiped him. Peace be with you, Jesus said. Jesus then told them to go and spread the good news about what had happened. And then 40 days later, Jesus rose up to heaven to be with God, his father. The followers of Jesus rejoiced and praised God. Papa closed the Bible. The cubs are fast asleep. Good night, Papa whispered, and God bless. And then he carries honey off to bed. Wasn't that a great story, guys? And it's not just a story, it's real, it's true. And that's the reason why I love Easter so much is because we can know that what Jesus said was true. We know that what he did was true. And he really did live here on earth and he really did die and he really did rise from the dead and he is living in heaven right now. And he watches over us, guys, and he loves us so, so much. And we don't have to fear. We just need to know that as long as we have him, he will always be there for us and protect us. He never leaves us. So God bless you guys. Again, we cannot wait to see you guys again. Have a great day and we love you. Take care. Bye.